Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bella, and if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Ignore the giant zit right there. Um, I'm really sorry I didn't upload a video last week. Um, we're gonna get into why I didn't upload a video last week in this video, because today's video is a story time. When I posted my Where I've Been video back in December, oh my god, wow, okay, happy February by the way, um, I explained that I had some health issues over the past year and I said I would make a story time video about it, so that's what today's video is, um, again, really sorry to upload a video last week, it was a stressful week for me, um, also, I don't really like my hair today, so if I keep playing with it, that's why I'm sorry. It's up in, like, this half up, half down thing. I don't know. This is my third time recording it because each time I record it, it is too long. So, let's get on with the video. So, um, to answer the question of the title, yes, I did have a parasite. It is called Blastocystis hominis. And, yeah, um, I'm going to tell you how I found out and then the problems that kind of arose after. So, in the end of April, I want to say, yeah, the end of April, early May, I started experiencing stomach aches, um, really bad cramps, going to the bathroom more frequently, and I've always had um, IBS, so, and I'm happily talking about this so you guys do not need to leave any hate comments down below Please. um I started experiencing abdominal pain like really bad abdominal pain um to all my girls out there worse than cramps and stuff um it was really uncomfortable and it was in my entire stomach. I don't know why I touched my stomach. It was in my entire stomach area. Um, what would make it feel better was curling up in a ball, applying pressure, stuff like that. Heating pads. I laid on a heating pad a bit. Um, I also had a little bit of back pain and um, I told my mom about it when the symptoms had been going on for probably about two weeks. Um, I at first just thought it was a normal stomach ache. I just thought maybe I ate something that didn't agree with me and it just needed to get through my system. Um, I never thought it would be a parasite. <laughs> that is not anything that I would have thought of. My mom thought of it, but not me. So, um, about three weeks in, I told my mom, I was like, I'm still having the symptoms. And she's like, okay, I'll make a doctor's appointment. So I had a doctor's appointment on Friday. Also, I'm really cold, so I have a blanket. Um, she made a doctor's appointment for Friday. And I went to the doctor, left school early and everything. Um, and at this point, like, everything was getting worse. Nothing was getting better. Um, but the symptoms were pretty much exactly the same. They were just getting worse. So they wanted to run a t couple tests. They wanted to take some blood and then they wanted to um, do a stool sample. Um, both of those take a couple days to get back. So it was kind of a waiting game. They couldn't do anything until my test samples came back, which sucks because they couldn't give me any pain medicine. They couldn't really do anything for me until we knew what we were dealing with. So... I went home that weekend, um, got really bad. It got really bad. And my symptoms were horrible. I was starting to throw up now. And it was to the point, I was like, at one point, I remember it very vid vividly, I was laying in a ball on the kitchen floor, like crying. I was in so much pain. That was kind of when I made the decision I wasn't going to school on Monday. My mom happily let me let, stay home because I never ask to not go to school unless I am in really bad pain or I'm really sick. I mean, I went to school with the flu, so I don't miss school. Um, so she, reluct not reluctantly, she happily said yes, <laughs> and I stayed home Monday. Nothing really changed on Monday. Um, I admittedly was not drinking enough fluids for the amount that was 
you know, coming out of me in a nice way. Um, so I was pretty much just curled up in a ball, trying to sleep, trying to do whatever I could to not be in excruciating pain. And let's see, I think my mom got home around eight o'clock that night. She got home a little later from work that night. And she said, you look really pale. You look really bad. We're going to the emergency room. So it was 9 o'clock by the time we finally went to the emergency room. I was reluctantly going. I did not want to go. I was like, let's just wait for the test results. I did not want to go. Don't really like the hospital. But eventually I was like, okay, fine, whatever. So we get there. Um, the hospital is like five minutes away from me. So it wasn't a long drive or anything. And or the emergency room. So we get there. We wait probably an hour before I'm even back. And then they do, like, the urine sample. They automatically take blood and they start me on an IV. Um, I was really dehydrated. I went through three bags of fluid in the emergency room that night in a six-hour period. Um, I was super dehydrated. And they took my blood and everything and we were waiting. Um, needles don't really bother me if I don't look at it. I just look away and act like nothing's happening, so... That's actually changed a bit now because I've had so many needles in me this past year. But, so, I waited. Um, they gave me some pain medicine, finally. So, they gave me some morphine. This stuff was great. Made all my pain go away. And I was able to not be in a ball and try to get a little bit of sleep while I was waiting. Um, eventually, the doctor comes in. And he's like, well, your tests don't really match. So we're going to draw some more blood and we want to do a CT scan. I was like, okay. So the nurse came back in. She took some more blood. And I had to drink that orange Gatorade iodine liquid thing. I don't know what it's called. Um, I had to like chug it basically. And then I went and I got my CT scan. And I still didn't know what was going on. So I asked the lady. I was like, um, why am I having a CT scan? Because normally, that's not like, that's not like normal. So I was like, do you know what's going on? She's like, all I know is you have an abnormally high white blood cell count level. And all that really means is you're fighting an infection of some sort. Um, and so I got nervous. I was like, well, okay, at least that kind of confirms that I'm not imagining this. Like, this is actually happening. And... Um, so we wait for the, um, pictures to come back and be analyzed and everything and the second set of lab results to come back. And, um, the doctor finally comes back and he is like, well, they still don't match. Your CT scan is completely fine. It's normal. It's clear. That's what I, that was the word I was looking for. It's clear. But your labs are still really high. I had an elevated... Um, liver enzyme um, level and my eosophyll level of my white blood cell count. Like they're this it, eosophyll's inside the white blood cell count um, was ten times what it was supposed to be, and that's cancer level high. Um, so I was transferred to the Levine's Children's Hospital. Um, they took me in an ambulance, and it was my first ambulance ride, and the guy was really nice, and we talked and everything, and I just kind of didn't think about it. It was 3 a.m. by the time I was finally transferred, so I was pretty tired. <laughs> um, by the time I get checked in and everything there, um, it was probably about 4.30 a.m., and they said, you need to get some sleep. My mom and my sister came with, they went home and got some clothes and stuff, and then they drove to the hospital separately. And the room was really nice. The nurse staff was really nice. I did have to be tested for MRSA since I had a history of it. Um, I came back negative, but you have to be negative two times at two different visits to be considered clear, which means I was quarantined to my room. Um, so we just watched Disney movies, played Uno, ate some really bad um, hospital food. Um, so about 6 a.m., they 
came in and they took me for an x-ray of my lungs. Um, I have asthma and they thought one of my lungs was collapsing. It was just the way I was laying, but they needed to double check and everything. So I went and got that. And then they took some more blood. Vampires, I swear. Um, they took some more blood. My levels were going down. That's when they could officially rule out cancer. They were still really elevated, but they could officially rule that out, which was a relief. I did not want cancer, that's for sure. Um, so the next question was, what do I have? Well, they couldn't do anything, so they sent me home. They did give me some pain medicine, but that was about it. Um, so late that was Tuesday when I was discharged. Tuesday night I was discharged. And um, Friday I had a doctor's appointment, a follow-up appointment from the hospital visit and the doctor's appointment from last week. That's where they got the test results back that confirmed that I had a parasitic infection. Um, blastocystis hominis, as I said earlier, and, um, I named him Tyler. It's my parasite's name. That's what I was trying to think. Um, so, I was also recommended to see a GI doctor. And she's really nice, and she was great. I was on antibiotics for a month and a half, two different ones, uh, before I was considered parasite-free. Um, I still have the parasite, and I could be infected by it at any moment. Thank you, Tyler. So, I do get a little paranoid when I have a stomachache. Not gonna lie. But, um, I was good for about four months. And then, it started having symptoms again. And I got really concerned. It ended up not being that. I was diagnosed with a gluten and a lactose intolerance. Um, I also could not have dairy at all. So not just no lactose, like no dairy. Um, and I have been that like area. I am on a, an elimination diet. I've been on it for three months. I have another three months to go before we can officially start winning it back in. It's a hard diet. Um... And they don't know if I can never have it again. Um, I do have it sometimes on accident. I'm not going to lie. Like, some, And sometimes I'm just flat out like, I want gluten. I don't really care. <laughs> and I will suck up the stomach ache. I do have stomach spasm medicine for that very occasion. So that's the good news. Um, now to my more recent health issue. Um, I've been good for a couple months. Uh, last time I went to see my GI doctor was in December, and I have my stomach medicine. I'm on peppermint oil capsules. I'm on, uh, I do, like, this essential oil thing. Like, I have been really good about this stuff, and that's the good thing. But last week, I was eating most, which I've eaten plenty of times before, and... I started getting hives, and then I wasn't able to breathe and stuff like that. I did not go into anaphylactic shock. Um, I just had hives all over me for um, about 36 hours. Um, and, yeah, it was rough. I tried everything. They would not go away. So I ended up in the emergency room on the day of my math exam. So I missed that exam, which is why I had to make it up, and then... Um, I also to a, co a college and I went skiing last week, so it was a busy week for me, but, um, they gave me a steroid and I now carry an EpiPen because we don't know what caused the allergy. We don't know what I ate that caused me to have the reaction that I did. I do have to go get some more allergy testing done and I'm like, great, just add it to the list of health issues, but... I mean, that's me. That's what makes me me. I have so many health issues. I can't even count. It's it's honestly sad. But, you know, I have most of it under control now, which is good. And I'm back making videos for you guys like this one. I am sorry that this video is so long. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it and you got to know a little bit more about me. And if you have health issues like this, know you're not alone. Like, I have so many more that I can make tons of videos about. Also, if you have any video ideas, don't be afraid to comment down below. And subscribe if you made it to the end, because clearly you liked me. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.